dedicate their lives to serving the, the, the needy and whatever. So, some of you may wonder, why, why do we do what we do? Uh, why, why are there individuals like me or Tito or Lars and, and others who are working with these refugees? Uh, I think each of us has our own story. But something has touched us deeply and motivated us to become an advocate for those who are displaced and needy. I want to just, before I turn the time to, uh, to Dr. Minch, let me tell you my, my story that basically answers the question, why do I do what I do? Many years ago, as I was traveling through South America, I was traveling through Peru and I was on the coast, and I had a chance to, to go swimming. Uh, it wasn't really a beach, it wasn't really meant for tourists, but I went swimming, and I'm not very mindful when I go swimming, and long story short, I was caught on a tide, a, a tide that, caught, that carried me out to sea. And when I became aware of my situation, my plight, that I was far from land and I was being carried further out, it was almost too late to get back to land. It took all of my strength just to swim back. I was totally exhausted. Thank the Lord I made it back. And, and I believe it was through the Lord, the grace of God, that I survived. Okay? But in those 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes it took me to swim back, I'll tell you, I was screaming for life. I was convinced I was going to drown that day. I was going to be lost. And, and so I guess that kind of experience gives me some empathy for what so many of these refugees are going through, especially the refugees we hear about, the Syrians trying to get to Greece, the uh, Africans trying to cross the Mediterranean to Europe. So many of them are drowning. Uh, you know, there before the grace of, of God go I. Uh, I could have just been in a similar situation. Any one of us could have been born into other circumstances where we could be in their shoes. You know, so I'm grateful that those who are here feel something. You feel an obligation to, to, to learn and then to deliver. Okay? We live in such prosperous circumstances. We are so blessed. You know, we, we won the lottery of life, didn't we? we? We have so much to be grateful for. And I think the Lord expects us to use our time and talents and resources then to give to those who are suffering.